Trigger warning, adoption, family dynamics, emotional distress. AITA for being completely honest with my biological parents about how my childhood was really awful. I was given up for adoption right after I was born. Unfortunately, my adoption didn't work out, and I grew up in foster care until I turned 8. I'm now 19 and in college. In February, I got a Facebook message from a man claiming to be my father. We messaged back and forth, and while I kept a lot of my childhood details private, we did make plans to meet him and my mother. They weren't married to each other, by the way. When I got to the restaurant, I was very shocked and honestly upset to find that my father and mother had brought their spouses, as well as their children, to surprise me. My father's mother was there, so my grandmother was also there. I was already feeling very emotional about the whole thing, and seeing everyone there didn't help. So I sat through an hour of listening to them share all about their lives while I fake smiled through everything. Honestly, I felt very jealous that they had kids they really loved and that they all had really happy lives after ditching me. Then they started asking about me and my parents and how my Facebook gave very little away about my life. I basically lost it and started crying like a little bee. Lo, and told them how shtty my adoptive parents were and how shtty foster life was. I was pretty snarky and sarcastic when I said that I'm glad their lives worked out for them because mine sure as hell didn't. I couldn't stop crying, and my father had to drop me back home. He was very apologetic. I feel very shy about it. I made my mother and father cry at the restaurant. They were really nice people. I got a few messages from my mother and father separately where they've been apologizing and asking if they could make it up to me. My mother in particular seems really upset by everything, and I hate that I may have messed up her happy life. Her last message basically said that she's been unable to sleep and wants to see me again. I've been ignoring their messages and just focusing on school instead. AITA. Maybe I should have been more honest before the meetup. Comments. Leif Penkowski. Nah, you have a right to your life. And they have probably spent the last 19 years clinging to the idea that you had a better life than they could give you. Being hit by the reality that their happiness now is built on the opportunities they had by condemning you to misery has probably hurt them quite a bit, but that's not your fault. Deleted account. TBH. I was also glad for the fact that at least the parents were apologetic and not douchebags. I hope they reconcile. And Opus, although no one can give you your 18 years back, I hope you do well in the future and maybe get the family and love you deserve. Gawag. NTA. You were completely blindsided, and I don't understand how your birth parents couldn't foresee that being an overwhelming and totally inappropriate thing to spring on a child they effing abandoned. I was glad they were apologetic about it. Before you reach back out, Consider what you want from your relationship with them and how seeing them makes you feel. It might be best to talk one-on-one -on -one only for a while, or maybe even write to each other. You get to choose how you make your own family and at what pace. OP. Honestly, I feel like being around them is just going to make me bitter. Maybe I'll send my biological mom a few texts here and there to make her feel better. Alice Bell. Hey, I hope you're alright. This sounds massively complex, and it sounds as if there is a lot of trauma. I don't think this is a case for this sub. Please reach out to a friend. Maybe your university campus has a psychologist you could speak to. Wishing you all the best, an internet stranger. OP. Thanks. I've just been very busy with school, and it's kept my mind off this situation. I'll get therapy once I graduate and have health insurance. Lol. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.